Hey guys, here's my view on the Blackburn Outpost top tube bag. Let's have a quick look. What have we got? Let me just snip this off. One litre, 185 grams, lifetime warranty. So there wasn't much on YouTube about this. There's a couple of videos by the guys at Blackburn, um, but not much else. So I wanted to give my impressions of it because I think it's a slightly deceiving bag from the from their YouTube video. So what does it look like? On the outside, it looks tough, really tough, great quality materials. It is waterproof. As you can see, the zips are uh, waterproofed as well. It has, on the outside, two big straps on the bottom, and they are big. These are chunky, chunky straps. Lots of Velcro there, um, and there's three different positions that they can be put in, so you can change the slots in there to adjust where exactly it can fit on your frame. It's got a uh, head tube mount as well. That ties around there. It's got quite a nice little clip as well, which sort of doubly secures up. And then we've got the bag itself. On the outside, we've got two pockets on either side. Um, this one here, and then a zippered waterproof pocket around here. I'll come back to this in a sec. And then we've got this mesh pocket up the top with a little Velcro tab there that you can see. Nice big pullers on the zips. They are stiff, which is something I found. They're quite stiff, especially to get around this corner here. But I suppose being 100% waterproof, um, that's probably a good sign. But they are tough. They're quite tough to get around. Once you're there, it's nice and easy zips all around. It does zip all the way around here as well, which I found really useful because it can swing the top open. It's not like you're just having to slide things in. Inside, it's got a bit of padding. Um, maybe not padding, but it's definitely a few layers in there of the waterproofing. In the main compartment, we'll start down the bottom, there is a little attached uh, key fob ring, whatever you want to call it, in there. And then you've got this internal divider. So it comes out, little bits of Velcro either side. And that you can position wherever you want along there. So, what do I think? Um, to be honest with you, I was wanting something a bit bigger. I thought it was bigger. The... One of my pet peeves, I was really looking forward to this because I thought it was perfect for, for a phone to fit in there. You can't really see through the mesh, but it, you can definitely see uh, if something's alerted, if you get a message or something like that. But let me show you what the problem is. Now this is a standard iPhone 6. It's not the Plus, so it's a smaller screen. Um, and I'd say that this is, to be honest, it's on the market at the moment, it's probably one of the smaller phones. Screens have just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. So this pocket here is designed to, to have this inside. But as you'll see, it sits in there. But because of the tapered shape of this, it starts to force out the sides. Now, this is getting pretty tough to push in. And you can already see it's bursting out there. So that's an iPhone 6, and it doesn't fit in there. Well, I mean, it does, but it's tough. Now, you can see the screen's coming up there. So you will get those notifications. But to get it out, you know, you've got to sort of faff around and pull it out. And I think that's, uh, that's quite disappointing for me, because I was expecting that to be a bigger size, at least designed for something like the iPhone, which is probably the most common phone around. Another letdown for me were these two little side pockets uh, on either side here. This one does have a zip, but because of the nature of them, you can't fit anything inside them. I don't, I don't know what you could put in there. Let me just grab a, a card and I'll show you. So this is a standard business card. There you go, rolling east. Check it out. We're cycling from London to Melbourne uh, in a couple of weeks. You can follow us along. Anyway, standard business card. Um, and if I was to put it in this side here, 
I mean, that's tight already. And it just sort of slides in. You really couldn't get much more in there, to be honest. It doesn't have any sort of um, size to it. It's just basically whatever you can stick in there. I mean, it's really disappointing for me. And the thing is, on the other side, it's even worse because the zip makes the opening smaller. I don't even think I could get a card in there. That card won't even slide in on that side. So I don't know what you put in there. You could definitely obviously use it for loose change, coins. You could probably slide some notes in there as well, um, but not much else. Um, an example, here we go, Park Tools, what is that? AWS 10, really simple Allen key tool. Yeah, no, that's not going in there. That's stretching out here, it's not, not gonna fit. So pretty disappointed by these two pockets, which I think for me are virtually useless. Team that with this mesh pocket up the top here. Again, yeah, you could probably put some tools in there and they can sit down in there quite nicely, but just disappointed. On the inside though, it markets it as a litre. Let's see what we can get in here to give you guys an idea. So let's start, we'll put, I mean, there's a phone. That sits nicely in there. What else have we got here? tube it's a 26 inch mountain bike tube 26 by 2 I think take the phone out you know that obviously goes in there plenty of space still I'm gonna adjust this velcro maximize the space so what we got tube we've got a tool We've got some tire levers. That's pretty much full. As you can see there. Um, I don't think it'll fit a phone in as well. No, you can sit the phone on top. But that's where we are. So let's take these out. and we'll see what else we can shove in there as a size guide here we go what's this cheerio peeled plum tomatoes authentic italian just what every bike packer needs is a tin of tomatoes 400 gram tin 250 grams 400 gram 250 grams whatever that means um let's see if that fits and how that fits i don't have to adjust this so a tin of tomatoes it's starting to burst out the side. So it's making that wider. You could not fit two tins of tomatoes in the Blackburn Outpost top tube bag. Um, but apart from all that, it fits the tomatoes. The phone doesn't fit in the top. You can put all that, that stuff in there. What do I think? It's really well built, really well built. This is rugged. Um, the straps are tough. There's good Velcro on them. It's a really good material. Uh, it's not gonna come off anytime soon. It is waterproof, which is nice. The zip goes all the way around, although it does get a little bit sticky around this side here. Hmm, don't know, don't know. Really disappointed with their marketing video, which shows phones sliding in the top. Um, maybe if you got an iPhone 5, You'll be all right, but not really those around. So there you go, guys. Blackburn Outpost Top Tube Bag. Um, if you do want to pick it up, there's a link in my description. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got one. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you disappointed? Are you happy with it? All the best, guys. See ya.